You're sick. Wait, you know that? You... Hey, don't resist. I don't no, understand. he's not resisting. I... Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the clergyman in this country. Yeah. Who are you aiming? Who are you aiming, man? You crazy. Well, I would say, I would say to you and to them, finally, it's about time. I have been saying this for many years. They came for me. Be sure of it. They're going to come for you as well. That's history. That's not Arthur Pulaski preaching. That's history. Adam Sells here for Rebel News. And in just a few moments, I'm going to be joined by Pastor Arthur Pavlovsky. For those of you who haven't been following the story, Pastor Arthur Pavlovsky has been under a litany of charges, ultimately stemming from the fact that throughout COVID-19 restrictions, he opened his church, continued to feed the homeless in downtown Calgary, and attended a blockade at Coots at the border and preached there. One of the most concerning charges that has resulted of all of this was a contempt of court sanction on the Justice Rook order, the original sort of provision that prevented protests under COVID-19. Uh, Justice Adam Germain was the ruling judge on that and one of his sanctions that was extremely problematic and thanks to the hard work of Sarah Miller and JSS Barristers and your donations at SaveArthur.com that sanction has been uh, temporarily su suspended rather or held off until the appeal process can be heard but uh, it it's effectively limiting his speech as a compelled speech mandate which suggests that Pastor Arthur Pavlowski has to read a state approved judge appointed sentiment on COVID-19, on the science of COVID-19, and on how his opinion does not confer or agree with many in the scientific community. This is, of course, a Soviet-style compelled speech mandate, and one that, as we mentioned, thankfully, has been stayed until the appeals process can be carried out. The Canadian Civil Liberties Association agrees that this ruling is ridiculous and they have applied to be interveners and appeal to prevent this from going forward. They agree, despite the fact that they have not taken much action to stand up for our fundamental freedoms throughout the many violations we've seen as a result of COVID-19 restrictions, this is a line too far and they are standing up alongside Pastor Arthur Pavlowski. What is it like to see them and other groups starting at least to come to the aid of people who've seen their rights trampled? Well, I would say, I would say to you and to them, finally, it's about time. I have been saying this for many years. They came for me, be sure of it. They're going to come for you as well. That's history. That's not Arthur Pulaski preaching. That's history. Yeah. If they can get away with this with me, they will get away with other things with you. That's history. What I know about totalitarian regime, and remember, if you don't believe me, trust my accent, because I know what I'm talking about. What I know about totalitarian regime is that they never stop. They will never stop. They're like cancer. A cancer starts small, but it spreads. And we have been seeing in our beloved Canada this cancer spreading for decades. This is not, this, this is not in the making for the last two years. The last two years have shown us how big is the problem. But this was in the making for a very long time. Look at this. Jason Kenney has broken, caught red-handed, breaking the same injunction, the same court order I was caught under opening the church. Mm -hmm. Guilty as charged, right? Yeah. I end up in prison. I end up being charged criminally. I'm still being charged criminally for that. Excuse me, where is Jason Kenney? Why there are no tickets against him mm -hmm. and his minister? And not only that, when you're a good Nazi, when you're good KGB, communist, you're going to be rewarded. Taylor mm -hmm. Chandra, this wicked evil man that I have sent those Gestapo to shut down our churches, destroy our businesses, shut down our restaurants, the man himself that has some inquiries, legal troubles all of his own right now, he has been rewarded with a ministerial that has the power over the crown prosecutors, judges, police. And he is the one that sent me to prison. Yeah. That's the same guy that was caught red-handed in a sky palace, breaking his own rules and regulations. This is communism. Yeah. This is what I see in Canada as a hybrid fascist communism, socialism combined together. And it always goes the same way. I'm not surprised. I have been roaring about this for such a long time because I know how the system works. It starts slow, it starts little, and then it progresses. That's what we're seeing right now. And I'm not surprised that those 
people. I call them the gangsters in uniform working for the biggest mafia that we have right now, the the Kenny's mafia, a new fault. What a disgrace of a police officer this man is. He is unequally, you know, he's unequally applying the injunction to certain people. That occurred outside City Hall and involved a large and decorated semi-truck that was incessantly sounding its horn in violation of the injunction order. That driver was arrested and the truck was towed from the highway. If the government approves you, you're good. You can do whatever you want. You want to hug? No problem. Mm. You want to congregate? No problem. Uh, you want to take the streets and march like I've heard the mayor of Calgary is going to do in just a few days? No problem. That's all good. That's kosher. However, if you're fighting against the totalitarian regime, if you're opposing corruption in the government, oh, you got to be tackled and taken to prison. Mm. That's unacceptable. I hope you're seeing it. Mm. I hope you are seeing it because this is not Art Pulaski, you know, a gospel this is history it is entirely christian pastors being targeted by this government why is that communism you see when you have a totalitarian regime you have to understand that's your new god Mm -hmm. and if you're not willing to worship that god or that person like trudeau or kenny well you will be tackled you will be destroyed you will be hammered left and right because they they will not allow anyone being treated higher than they are. They are the pharaohs of today and you are the slaves. I mean, that's how it goes. And if you say just actually, it's very interesting because this season is the season of Passover. It was exactly one year ago when I kicked the Nazis out of our church because they were breaking a criminal code of Canada, section 176. Out! You understand? Nazis are not welcome here. Out. And they had no right, no legal right to be there. And the fascinating story of the ten plagues and the Egyptians and the Pharaoh and and Moses, a little guy that comes in out of nowhere and says, a shepherd, let my people go so they can worship me in the wilderness. And the Pharaoh would say, no. You see, Pharaoh Kenny says, no. You cannot keep your churches open. The abortion clinics, the liquor stores, the marijuana stores, the Costco's, the Ikea's, the Walmart's, all of that, or the mosques, all of that can be open, no problem. Mm -hmm. But a church that worships the living God, that's unacceptable because they hate competition. Mm -hmm. You have to worship them. You have to believe whatever they say, it's the law. Just like the Pharaoh, he was treated as the God. And here comes Art Pulaski out of nowhere, a nobody, a shepherd, with a funny accent, and says, no, you cannot do this to me. I am a Canadian citizen. You're in the wrong. You're a lawbreaker. Let my people go. So they can be a free people. Well, that's unacceptable. And the heavy hand of the totalitarian regime will fall on you. That's why we need to create a new party, Adam. What I'm calling right now is all the leaders of the small parties in the province of Alberta come together, contact me, and let's form a grassroots party for the province of Alberta. Let's tackle this beast here, this giant, this Goliath, Kenny, Kenny's government, and let's come together under one umbrella of freedom and let's create a party that actually will represent people because we have entered an era of 1776, taxation without representation, right here in our beloved Canada. No one represents us. We have no politicians that represent us these days in the province of Alberta. We need a new party. So Pastor Arthur Pawlowski, they're calling for political reform. We are seeing some of the civil civil liberties organizations starting to echo the concerns that Pastor Arthur has been heralding for years now. Hopefully change is on the horizon. We've had repeated threats that these restrictions could be brought back in at a moment's notice. But the hope here for Pastor Arthur Pawlowski, and certainly for many of you, is that Canadians are finally awake to what is going on there and that Canadians simply will not take this again. Pastor Arthur, I want to thank you so much for this update and everyone at home i want to thank you so much for tuning in for rebel news i'm adam sos so pastor arthur pavlowski is at home now and some of the more extreme sanctions like this compelled speech sanction have been stayed pending appeal but it is clear that pastor arthur pavlowski is not yet free he is 
in for the legal fight of his life over the coming years. If you want to chip in and make a tax receipt eligible donation to his legal defense to keep Sarah Miller and the team at JSS Barristers working on his behalf, you can do so by visiting SaveArthur.com.